start addressing it as an issue. So what are you going to do? Force me? Huh? Oh, please. Look, I pulled a deal for a girl that's supposed to be my girlfriend. All right? Big deal. Big modeling deal. I used that deal to entice Buddy and Steve's agency to get involved with her and suddenly the stupid ass chick thinks I'm a card. But it's okay. I don't blame her. It's all my fault. But I tell you what. Even if I'm a card, I won't be so stupid to make myself a game. Tam, you're pushing this thing way too far. Now, the only reason I came here is not because I don't know what to do to get the deal back on track or for the agency to recoup its interest. I came here so that we can talk on a mature level and to make you understand that whatever happened or is happening between you and Trish, you have no moral justification whatsoever to witch hunt her for the favors you use your connection to do her modeling career. I also have my connections. Oh, really? <laughs> then pull it. Pull your connections and make the deal work. I take that as a challenge. And you won't be happy when I respond. Do whatever you want, Jay. I'll be here waiting for it. Fine. Hello? Yeah, good afternoon, madam. Yes, uh, can I be on to the Honorable Minister? Oh, he's not available? Okay, what about his uh, PA, Dennis? Okay, okay, yeah, I'm waiting. Yeah, Dennis, what's up? <laughs> of course you know who's speaking, man. It's me, Tam. Yeah, uh, if... Yeah, Derek, definitely it is my ego that is being stepped on here. Obviously, he doesn't have the right to do that. Listen, get in touch with Steve eh? and tell him that I'm taking it up from here. I said get in touch with Steve and tell him that I'm taking it up from here. I keep telling him to get out of there and, you know, get himself acquainted with the trends of, 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 uh, of the wider world. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, man, thanks a lot. Okay. All right, bye. Yeah, Tosi, what is it? Hi, Jay. Hey, hi. Why did you refuse Tosi to drive inside? Um, uh, no, I didn't do anything like that. Did, did she tell you I didn't allow her to come inside? Hey, no, just forget it. Uh, could you get me my phone? My other one. Okay. All I have is this one. I think it's on my bed. Okay. Lady! Lady, I am so furious! What? What is it? It's Brad! Brad? But Brad said he didn't refuse you to drive inside. It's not even about parking inside or driving inside. It's more complicated than that. Oh, it's not my fault! 
off his rats! Leave me alone! Just get up! I will! Get you! Don't even hold it! I don't want to if you just got out of my house. Jay, Go pack your things and get out. Jay, you really need to hear my own side of the I story. said get out of my house. Double up! Stand by your side. Come rain, come shine. Cause you want my flesh. And I am your blood. I have been through the mountains. I've been down the valleys in search of this love that makes me complete. So it's not about my money and not about you, it's not about your friends. Hey, where have you been? Oh, I was trying to preserve your food. You didn't seem very happy at the dining table. What's the problem? Something about my food? No, absolutely nothing wrong to do with the food. Your food was marvelous. Just that bad and tossing just got, got on my nerves during the day and um, I just couldn't deal with it. You want to talk about it? No. Let bygones be bygones. Yeah, you're right. Let bygones be bygones. <laughs> you know, until today, I never knew she was your sister. I'm not trying to push it. If you still don't want to talk about it, I'll drop it. Anyway, so tell me how you feel now after your deal had been refixed. Awesome. I feel like awesome. <laughs> JD, you're a good man. I will love you forever for this. Oh, thank you. So, let me tell you what the shadow is like. <laughs> I'm supposed to leave on Thursday, have my photo shoot on Saturday. And the brand will be unveiled on Wednesday, and I'm so certain it's going to be awesome. It's going to be like above the edge, like really nice, wouldn't it? <clears throat> you know what? That's what you deserve. Yeah? I have one more favor to ask of you. Mm -hmm. Anything for the most beautiful woman in the world. Right? <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm just above the urge now. But my joy will be so complete if you go with me. Please. Mm. Yes. I knew you were gonna say yes! Yeah! <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. Oh my god, I cannot believe what Jay, I just said. I, I cannot you don't have I to believe look, it. Look, you don't have to be upset. You don't have to be this upset about this thing. You think so? I do know so, you know, because all of this is intended to simply get at you. And are you gonna allow that? I guess you're right. Yes. You're really right. Yeah, sure. That son of a bitch to that little tat in order to get me angry. Mm -hmm. But no, I won't get angry. I will not get angry. <sighs> um, Chase, I, I'll be coming a bit late tomorrow. But I thought we were supposed to. Finish this up tomorrow. Yeah, I know, but I mean, geez, don't be such an insensitive slave driver. I know that we were supposed to finish tomorrow, but how do you want me to finish tomorrow with this my mood? I am so moody. I need rest. I need to sleep. It's okay. I need rest today, even tonight. I think I should call Jay and talk to him about this. I'm really, really tired. I, I really need rest with it. Well. I was actually thinking we could get this over it tomorrow, but we'll make you a call. Yeah, I have to call him to be sure what I'm doing. <clears throat> you know, don't you? You know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. 
phone. No, 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 no. Don't worry. Why? I already know the person who's calling. You know who's calling? That means you're ready for me. <laughs> 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 It's not connecting. Yeah. Um, anyways, um, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? I, I need rest. It's okay. Uh, it's okay, bad as it may be, but don't be harsh on yourself, okay? Mm, I'll be fine. Uh, because, uh, because... Um, because what? Uh, you know, this is, this is what my heart tells me to tell you right now. And I just have to say it because it's the truth. You know, considering the fact that uh, we have just about eight scenes to go in, you know, I, I was thinking that we could um, come. Chase, Chase, please. I, I need to sleep. Please go to leave. Okay. I'm sorry. Get you this. <gasps> That's your passport and visa. It's a lie. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Please come here, come here. Thank you. Yeah. I'm not betting this. Thanks. Oh my god. Thank you. Come here. <laughs> no, what? So, how's it gonna be? I'm, I'm looking at us visiting with your family tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow? Yeah. Probably take a flight to Lagos and do some shopping there. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Good. You just full of surprise. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Let me take this to the kitchen and then I'll come back to come and show you my full appreciation. Okay. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. uh, Chase, thank you so much for your support and understanding. I am really, really grateful, and hopefully we'll work again. <laughs> I also want to let you know that I've gotten my visa, and I'll be traveling tomorrow. <clears throat> well, uh, that's uh, quite cheering to hear. Um, I must tell you that I'm happy for you. And uh, how are you traveling? Are you going from here, or you have to go to Lagos? Mm -hmm. I have just go from here. Well, you, you really have to go, of course. I can't stop you, but I, I just want you to understand that you're a very wonderful actress. Thank you. And uh, you haven't even gotten to your peak. And so I'd encourage you to take away personal things, you know, from your job, because I know this is the job you love to do. Yeah. Um, I'm talking specifically about... Uh, Slow land creek issue, you know, you need to really forget about it and move forward because, as far as I'm concerned, what is not yours is not yours. You, know, you can fight it, okay? Um, again, I want to wish you the best, <laughs> and I hope, like you said, that we'll work again very soon. Hopefully. Well, you have to go. <laughs> <laughs> 
but uh, yeah. since this is about the last we might say for uh, a short while, then why don't we, you know, order some meat? So I don't think that sounds really nice, because <laughs> I'm really famished. Okay. Um, yes, um, come, thank you, come. Yeah, wait, sir. Santa, please eat me! Santa, please eat me! Come on, I love you, I swear I do! Look, listen to me. You're going to push me into treating you like a nuisance now or the next time you come in, all right? Look, I've made it clear to you that you and I can never exist. At least under normal mental circumstances, all right? So, Tosin, please, this is the door. Use it and be dignified at not coming back here again. You get me? What? Yes. Samuel, you're sick. I'm what? Yes. Because if you were man enough, my brother JD wouldn't have snatched Trish, your girlfriend, from you. You're the... crazy! Samuel, Samuel, did you want to slap me? You want to slap me? Oh, yeah, Samuel, slap me. Slap me! And I will remind you and your entire family the favor my father did your father by helping screen him in for his own deserving ministerial appointment. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. It's all in your blood. Claiming all what you're not. Idiots. Let me see your fetishious, leaky ass one more time in my house and I'll help your mom teach you some manners. Samuel, fuck you. No, I fucked you. You fucked me? Yeah, I fucked you. With what? With that thing the size of my finger? <laughs> Get out of my house. Mm -hmm. Bobby, she's talking us. You're not even good in bed. Mr. Bode, I'm really sorry. How long have you been at the airport? Please forgive me. I'm actually waiting for JD because I want him to come with me. Yes. Oh, thank Christ, I'm busy already. I'm also be at the airport right now. Be there right now. Hey, what kept you so long? Oh, sorry, there's traffic on the way. Thank God you're here now. Now we have to hurry because we're late already. Shall we? Are you okay? Yeah, I am. <clears throat> JD? Tr Trish. Th there's something I need to ask you. Okay. You know how important this trip of yours is to me, right? Oh, yes. I mean, yes. Ask me. But, be fast. Okay. <clears throat> what is it going to take a man to decide what he wants? To decide what he wants? Mm -hmm. I think I'd stick with conviction. I mean, that's what it should take a man to decide what he wants. Come on, JD, we have to hurry. Besides, Mr. Bode said Tamano is no longer coming with us for the unveiling. Then I'm convinced. JD, about Tamano's attitude? Oh, come on, that shouldn't bother you. I'm convinced about you. I'm convinced about us. I'm convinced... For just a little thing that makes us complete <sighs> It is love So it's not about my mind It's all about the one thing that makes us complete Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna take off now, okay? I'll pick Gerald on the way, all right? When I drop off, he's gonna bring back this car. Bio will bring the other car. I think I've given you the key to this car. Uh, yes, okay. Take the three keys to my uncle, okay? And then you cover these three cars with tarpaulin. Did you hear what I said? Take all the keys to my uncle. Did you understand? Yes. I said take all the keys to my uncle. Yes, Cover sir, these yeah. cars. Make sure you do that. Okay? Yes, now, <clears throat> you see the way the house is? Yes. Take good care of this house. I know what I'm saying is, yes. I don't want if I leave now, you start bringing all your wire brothers here. No, no. Okay. Don't do it. Okay? okay, I'll miss you well, well, though. Don't worry. Hey, I'll be hey. back very soon, okay? Okay, okay. Take good care of my house. No all problem. right? 
think I'll have to give you some. Okay, it's gonna suffice for the time I'll be out. Take this. Use it very well. Be wise. I wouldn't like all those your brothers to come here and start messing up with you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm, okay, no Be wise. Okay? okay? I'll go miss you well, well, Take you. good care of this house. Hey. All right? Don't worry, I'll be back soon. Hey. Okay? No problem. Open the gate. Hey. Baby. Yeah. Let's go. Where there is love, there is life. Life in the burning. Listen, there comes a moment in everyone's life when we've got everything we need in life. Oh, there is one thing we all desire. Just a little thing we all love. We go searching the mountain. Body, but you have to relax. We're going to be there in another ten minutes. Believe me, we'll be there very soon. Hello, buddy. This is Junior David. We are going to be there in 10 minutes, okay? All right, okay. Bye. Senator Messigo didn't tell us we wouldn't have known. It's not like I was hiding anything from her. Uh, no justifications. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good day. Who is our guest? Um, <clears throat> this is Trisha. She's the face of Africa. Wow, oh, she is? Mm. Yes, ma'am. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Your father is upstairs by the balcony making a call. If you don't get him, he will be there like forever. Well, I'm just going back to the town, eh? Sit down with this. Thank you so much. All right. How are you? I'm beautiful. You are beautiful. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Same here. It's an honor. Honestly. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Okay, ready? Write it down. Double six, four six two, yes, eight one zero, fourteen ninety one. Did you get that, Leo? Yes, sir. Yes, zero one five three. All right, Leo. I'm too, sir. Oh. Good. We got it, Michael. Thank you so much. Yes. Good day, Dad. David. Yes, Dad. You are here. All right, Leo. Yes, Hold on to the document and give us a while. Okay, sir. without informing either of us, David. Oh, <clears throat> that it was kind of crucial. Accompany the lady model, face of Africa. That is what you went there to do, wasn't it? Look, it, it's like you don't know the type of politics we play down here. Everything matters, okay? And such a show at such a huge gathering can make or mar somebody's political career if you don't know. Look, I will want you to be more ordinate next time you want to take such a decision. Yes, sir. 
Um, there's a friend of mine downstairs that I'd like you to meet. All right. Uh, Senator Masigo was here yesterday. And uh, she informed us that uh, Jackie is almost true with her final result. Splendid, isn't it? Ah, yeah, it is. Oh, just give me a minute and hold it back. Okay. So, how does it feel to be the new face of Africa? I wouldn't say normal, but I'd say great, awesome. <laughs> You're enjoying it. I mean, everybody was present, people were looking at me. Oh. But I think all the fun came because of JD. He just made everything so easy. I don't... Oh, that is it. Good day, sir. Good day, young lady. <clears throat> this is my friend. She's Patricia, but uh, she's got Trish for short. Trish? Yes, yes sir. It's and, an uh, honor to <clears throat> sir. We're engaged. Oh. <laughs> That's a pretty good thing to hear. Young people, engagement, marriage, three things that are very, very synonymous. Oh, well, uh, that's all right. Uh, I'll be upstairs. Mommy is already making her comfortable, uh, so I think she has no problems. Junior, come upstairs. I'm so sorry that he was a shock. We just. No, it's okay. <laughs> shout, we don't need to fight, we don't need to, to quarrel over it. Please, only just take it in. It's okay, it's okay. I'm taking correction. because I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, which is worry about you. Okay, fine, if you insist. A few days ago, you gave me an answer to this puzzle that has just resurfaced, when you said that conviction is what a man should seek in deciding what he wants. I mean, to me, this answer is golden. And with time, you understand whatever is going on. I 
you don't understand. All I'm saying is just relax with time. You fully understand, all right? Yes, Roger. I was almost calling you in. I just got off the phone speaking with uh, Mr. President's advisor on petroleum matters. Oh, actually, sir, I have the facts with me. That was why I stepped in. Oh, I see. Uh, what you do is mark it for urgent consideration and pass it on to me later on, right? Okay. But in the interim, call on the Oblong consultants. I run a meeting with them this evening. Work with our time frame, okay? If they have any, any problems, they should sort themselves out. It's all right, sir. Good. I want to brief the president and the Federal Reserve Council tomorrow for this. It's all, all right. right, sir. It's all right, sir. Good. I will make it very snappy. I will appreciate Roslyn. And you? And your son? And what about him? Oh, here he comes. Okay, you can excuse us. Good day, sir. Good day. Good day, sir. How come you call? Yeah, uh, I actually find the one about you. Was it actually in the... Yes, I was on to Lutman. Okay. The president has given approval on the memo on the oil wells. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I know. That's exactly why I came. Uh, what about Junior Ibitra? Is that where he yet? No, Dad. He, he doesn't need to know. But I don't, I don't seem to understand you. Why? But has the president made the memo? Thank oh God. All right, you know what? I'll be at the family house in the next hour, but I need to go and freshen up first, all right? Okay, all right. And I'll see you tomorrow. <clears throat> okay. Bye. Is there a problem? Well, I hope not. Will there be a problem? I mean, about your, your, what happened in the family house? Like... Listen, everything is going to be all right, okay? Are you sure? You be careful. Ah, you too, Drive babes. carefully. Okay, babes. Drive carefully. All right, babes. father was taken to the state house for an urgent national issue that needs attention. That's how come both of you brought me down here. Don't be silly, David. Your father is the number three man in this country, and he has a job to do. And I'm the number one man of my private affairs, and as such I should be left to handle it. David, don't make me quarrel with you all the time because you won't like it. Mom, please, please. Don't get me worked up away, please. Your attitude is just getting me so pissed. Let's not get into that. Same here. Listen, I just want to ask you the last time you spoke with Jackie Mesigo. Jahu? That name doesn't even exist in my call logs. Really? Yes. Do you have your phone there with you? Yes, why? A coincidence. Private number. Hello? Who's this? Mother, your games are not going to work. Okay? Please, stop it. Really? Yes. Because I am with the woman I'm supposed to be with. So please. We'll see. I will ask you for the last time, Junior. When last did you talk to your wife to be, Jackie Messigo? Hmm. 
He probably will not answer you since his face of African girlfriend has hypnotized him with some- Shut up, shut up and stare like this, okay? She will not! She will not because she's part of this family whose name, pride and prestige you are walking stupidly to embellish. Sweetheart. No. Sweetheart, please. And I said no. No means no. And that's negative. I read negative to all persuasion that would suggest I take it easy with what this boy is trying to do to the fastest relationship I've built with a good people over the years. And what about me? Don't you think I've built one of my own? Shut the hell up! You are nobody! Shut up. Shut up. And you are losing it. Oh, I lost it looking at now, Sarah. The moment I sighted that engagement ring on that girl's finger was when I lost it. And until that ring is off, the engagement announced, the relationship terminated at all costs, I cannot have it quiet or cool with this boy. It's okay, sweetheart. That's exactly what he's going to do. What? You see, the idiot is contending it. Don't you think I have a name, pride and prestige to build and protect? And I said you're nobody. You are not and can never be anything meaningful without me. Where is your name without the Bujo's dynasty? What pride and prestige do you have outside my success in life? Oh, I tell you suddenly that unless you discontinue your fatality with that straight girl and come back to the wishes of this family, you are going to have it out onwards. Bet with me, and you will never be disappointed. You don't need to go, okay? Hey, hey, hey. Bro, I've told you. I've told you. You can still fix this. Just shut up. Shut up and stay out of this. Sorry. Life in the burning. <clears throat> Listen, there comes a moment in everyone's life when we've got everything. I obviously need to know something. G. Junior. David, I am talking to you. Trish, please. Trish, please. Trish, please. For how long? For however long I want. What's your problem? Listen, I have a lot of my mind. I have a lot of my mind too, and you will not walk out on me, JD. My goodness, I am going crazy. We had an aesthetic day. Filled with so much excitement after going to see your family. And then all of a sudden, everything begins to go gloomy, dull, bizarre. And you think the best thing is for you to keep it away from me? Come on, my love. We are engaged. Don't disengage me. Tell me what is bothering you. What is the reason? What is it? Why haven't you slept till this time? Oh, so you have a problem with me not, not, not sleeping? All right, fine, then I'm going to bed. Right? Don't you please, my baby. JD, I am your wife-to-be. We have to be plain and sincere with each other. What is the problem? Listen, I just don't have time I don't have time for this right now. Wait, don't you? You are not going to walk off! Hello babes, I'm in a meeting right now, okay? I'll call you as soon as I finish. Listen, I'm very sorry about what happened, alright? There are a lot of people here, so I can't really talk. I'll call you as soon as I finish so that we can iron things out. Hello? Are you there? Alright, I love you. Mr. Ibujua, you can't keep us waiting. Sorry, sir. <coughs> so, um... What about me? Uh, Michelle. Yes, sir. Like I was saying, sir. We haven't sent the documents for verification because we've got uh, other bidders. So we intend to collect all the documents at once so we could finally get to the place. If I heard you clearly, did you say other bidders? 
Sure, sir. Sir. Yes, Daphne. The other party is here. Oh, send them in. Have you checked your papers? Yeah. Okay. Good, good. Please, let's just wait for them to arrive. Hmm? Oh, wow. You're welcome. You're welcome. Let's sit down. Are these the so-called other bidders? The real bidder, Jay. Not a so-called. Mr. Wally. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Ibujua. Um, Briggs um, has bidded yesterday as well. And you see our terms of reference on negotiating on the sale of these OE blocks stipulated that the leverage must be given for wider competitions in order to ascribe credence to our exercise. That is bullshit! Does my father know anything about this? Yeah. Well, my father knows about it. Jay. You know what, Tam? I always thought you were a big boy, but you're just a juvenile. Juvenile? Me? Oh, 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 oh God. Well, you know, it's okay. I'm actually familiar with these kind of insults, you know? Your sister Tosin used to give them to me when I'm humping her ass. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, was that for me? <laughs> Jesus, man, I didn't know you were so active. You know, no. But you are so lucky. You're a punk ass, you know that. I hope you know my status and my level in this country. And I'm so happy you put in your bid for this oil thing so I could whoop your ass like I whooped your ass in the face of Africa Project. Oh, oh, oh nah, baby. <laughs> now let me tell you, this ain't gonna be like, hey, 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 hey. Look, I've seen your cheap suit, all right? So just, just, just go, get out of my sight. Look, this ain't gonna be like the damn face of Africa Project. Okay? We're talking about buying and selling of Nigerian crude oil, baby. And Jesus, man, you are talking with the good son of the Honorable Minister for Petroleum. And I'm sure you know what that means, baby. I'm sure you know. Well, you see. Okay. All right, fine. Okay? So just stop. Uh, say hi to Trish for me. Hey, 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 get out of this. position to say that he is the Senate president. <laughs> you all are doing a disservice to this country by throwing away that laudable plan. The Freedom of Information Bill Sarah was simply informed by the aggressive nosiness of our journalists who thought that uh, everything about government is fraud, 
embezzlement and corruption. That's right. Then prove them wrong. Pass the bill and let Mr. President sign it into law. <sighs> oh, JG. JG, look at you. How are you? <laughs> oh, you look so cute. I'm sure Jackie would like to know what makes you look so athletic. <laughs> I've been working out. He's a workaholic. He hardly visits. I wonder what's brought him. Well, I came to see my dad. You know, it's a good thing he came now, actually, because uh, so that the iron lady will let go of my neck. Where is Junior? I was Junior. Now you have Junior. Of course, I am happy. I'm so happy to see you. So, Jedi, tell me, when last did you speak to Jackie? Uh, like yesterday, right, Junior? Yesterday. <laughs> um, Dad, can I just see you for a minute, briefly? Excuse me. Such a cute guy. <laughs> I'm sure they make him a big pair. Oh, deep we are. Yes, um, please be brief. Um, Dad, there's something going on which I'm not quite happy about. I just came out of a meeting with the consultants over the sale of the oil blocks. Now, um, <clears throat> what I realized was that Chief Briggs and his son, Terminal, had put in a bid, which actually came against my bid. And uh, I think they're trying to yak me and my partner out of the whole deal. Is that all? Yeah, yes, Dad. But, uh, <clears throat> You see, what I don't understand. Dad, are you walking out of me? Are you going to fold your arms and walk out of me whilst you bricks and his son just destroy me? A deal that I put 20 million of my heart and money? Your heart and money, you said? You have never worked so hard to earn anything. Because if you have, you would not have been working adamantly so hard to destroy my friendship and good political and social bonds I've built with people over the years. Oh, I thought you had a name, a pride and prestige. Put them into use now because this is when it matters. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me I should end my relationship with Trish because you're threatening me? I made that $15,000 and I'm going to make more with Trish and not with Jackie on my side. I am not a kid anymore. You don't be silly. I decide when you grow and until I say so, you're still a kid. That is a lie. You know what I've had it up to here? I'm going to leave this country for you and Jackie and I'm going to leave in three days! And I tell you, everything will be good only when you realize that. Hey, here comes my future son-in-law. Junior! David! Sarah, you look furious. David! What could it be? I will find out. Sweetheart, what happened? My Senate President, what is the problem? He has just been assaulted by a team of mobile policemen who are unaware of his identity. And I have refused to take it up. What? Oh no. I'm sure they must have rough handled him over much. I am calling the CP right away. Oh, don't worry. I've taken a decision and it must be handled. Come on, women, our drinks are getting hot. Why? You've just been informed. No, JD. If you want me to go with you to the US in three days, then I have a right to know why, what is going on. Trish, why don't you just trust me? Why don't you just trust me and put me in the picture? You have to tell me what is going on. You can't keep keeping me in the dark. My family don't support us. 
They don't support our engagement and they're doing everything they can to stop us. What is everything? Chris, why don't you just... Just tell me, what is everything? They are hounding me. Okay, and as you can see, it's got nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with me. You were living with them in peace before I came into the picture. So it has everything to do with me. Trish, it is not your problem. The problem is their mentality and how they think. Okay, now I need you to support me on this one so that we can forget about it in a jiffy. Why don't we go back to my place so that we start packing our things. Whilst we are packing our things, I'll be tidying up our businesses. In the next two, three days, I'm going to organize our visas so that we can leave. JD. Trish. What about your oil business? I'll give it up. You what? Trish, I just need you to trust me. Searching the valley, we search in the city for just a little thing that makes us complete. Mm, it is love, so it's not about my money. My, my, my money. It's all about the one thing that makes us complete. Mm, only love, only love, only love, and just love. Oh. So Where our stars can collide So we can be not Only love Don't worry about what anyone has to say Don't bother about what anyone wants to do They don't understand what we believe They don't understand what we feel I'll stand by your side 